A few days ago, a big update came out in Prodigy, which has tons of content, so here's everything you need to know about Prodigy's new shop update. There are many new items that can be obtained in the shops throughout the different areas, some being old and some being new. The items now obtained in the general store are the Dragon Spike Crown, Mythic Member Hat, Crystal Hood, Ruined Dweller Outfit, Cybernetic Mask, Black Knight Helm, Celestial Helm, Member Robes, Magician's Cape, Crystal Robes, Ruined Dweller Outfit, Cybernetic Armor, Black Knight Armor, Celestial Armor, Magi Runners, Magi Thread Boots, Dragon Spike Boots, Kitty Slippers, Crystal Boots, Ruined Dweller Boots, Cybernetic Boots, Black Knight Greaves, and Celestial Boots. The items now obtainable in the one shop are the Dragon's Gem, Crystalline Torch, Ruined Dweller Wand, Tech Hammer, Black Knight Mace, and Dual Blade. The Great Hull Shop got the Pencil Wand. The Dino Dig Shop got the Bone Hairpin, Baby Rock's Hood, Triceratops Helmet, Baby Rex Outfit, Triceratops Armor, Triceratops Greaves, Caveman Club, Baby Rex Wand, and Triceratops Mace. The Moth Mask, Firefly Fantasy, Leaf Booties, Sword of Earth, and Brumble were all moved from the Earth Tower to the Firefly Outfitters. The Shivering Tusk, Hiker's Parka, Trekking Boots, and Sword of Ice were moved from the Ice Tower to the Snowy Day Sail along with Shiver Tusk. The Embershed Mask, Draconix Helmet, Draconix Gear, Magma Boots, and Draconix Wand were added to Hot Hot Threads along with Mist Ember. The Steamwork Topper, Tech Wizard Lens, Steamwork Suit, Tech Wizard Suit, Steamwork Boots, Tech Wizard Runners, Steamwork Sword, and Tech Wizard Laser were added to the Sky High Values. Catch of the Harpooner, Coat of the Harpooner, Boots of the Harpooner, Harpoon of the Harpooner, Fishing Pole, Swordfish, and Misty were all added to Ocean Outfitters. There is now new gear in the Titan Shop, most of it having been leaked for a long time. One of the items in the Titan Shop, the Titan Power Set, is the most powerful armor in the game, with bonuses of 355 as well as it being bumped up to a Legendary tier. A Legendary Armor Set that didn't benefit from this update though was the Celestial Armor which had a bonus of 345 but were dropped down to 306 bonuses in the update. Tons of armor was upgraded to Legendary, including the Titan Power Set, Duelist Set, Robot Set, Draconic Set, Harpooner Set, Tech Wizard Set, Triceratops Set, Earth Tower Set, Ice Tower Set, along with all of these items also getting the bump. Every festival pet except for Tortoise were also added to the shops. Buddies were completely removed from the elemental shops, making them now unobtainable. New unobtainable items were also added to the game, such as the Science Set, Fall Leaves Clip, Mask of Nine Lives, Amber Wand, Mystic Bubble Wand, Earthbird Wand, Firebird Wand, Teddy Bear Axe, Fiery Wing, and Pink Bubble Wand. The Deluxe Holiday Bow no longer has the Sandwich Caps icon, ending a year-long glitch. The Snow Ermine now has its own description, and in the description it tells you how to get it, meaning there is now a confirmed obtainment method. There is a mysterious Dino set that has an armor boot and helmet with no icon. There is no confirmed one, but I believe the wand is the Amber Wand that I mentioned earlier. And finally, here is a list of every single Legendary Armor Piece's stats from best to worst. That's going to go ahead and end up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and bye.